Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be on Butter. It is BSL Season 16, Round of 32, Group A, Wizard in the upper right-hand corner as the Black Zerg, bottom right-hand corner. We have Ball starting as the Blue Protoss. And it is the tournament life for both of these players on the line. I did have a moment to follow up on my previous game's thought. Graduates in to the higher levels of BSL 15. Dreamer ended up in Gosu League, which is completely unsurprising. We have Radley that was up there as well. Herbmon went pretty deep. I'm very proud of him. Check out his stream if you haven't already. I like seeing I like seeing the movement there, the movement up uh, from these leagues. I like seeing new players come through and strike their way. I'm actually a little bit shocked that uh, Phoebus disappeared out of nowhere. It's like he had the one season, took the Hasu League Championship, and then uh, vanished. Pylon at the natural expansion. We have seen nothing but Forge expands from Ball. This. A lot of people argue this is a pretty strong Protoss map. We'll see if that holds to be true. Immediately scouting after Pylon, so maybe thinking about going for even a a 12 Nexus. And I remember something, some chatter that you can pull off a 12 Nexus and still defend with a particular build on this from Machine. I'm not sure if that is the case, or at least against an Overpool. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. We'll see if Ball tries to execute that here. Goes up, sees the spawning pool. Looks like he did drop the forge. But just wanted to get eyes to absolutely know what he was up against. Upon seeing that, he knows he... Well, let's see if he tries to play, play with the Nexus. Or if he does, in fact, drop the cannon afterwards uh, with this. Natural expansion being set up for Wizard. So second probe moving out, and this is going to be kind of the moment. Yeah, I think this is the case where you can pull it off, but he is moving up to go ahead and drop the cannon first. He's going to play it absolutely safe. There is some build along this line where you can, I believe, go Nexus first before cannon because of the spawning distances or something along those lines and make it work. Someone tried to do a little bit of testing with that. Looked like there was some, if I saw that correctly, there was a little bit of drone delay on Wizard's part, which is going to hurt a lot early. Two Zerlings being constructed, Ball pocketing that probe to the corner. Natural expansion being built there. <clears throat> and we'll see. I've We've seen some amazing games on Butter this previous season. I'm excited to see it in the map pool again. I really like it. Feels like a new version of Blue Storm where it's one of, or Eclipse, where it's one of those spicy two-player maps. But a little bit wonky at the same time, not just fully straightforward. I think the percentages of wins were fairly even on this one as well. It's not like it was run away with one race or another. Stractor constructed the probe, checking at natural expansion, making its way back up. Overlord taking a couple of free shots there from that cannon as the gateway ceiling. Quick third from Wizard. So probably going to go for, again, more of what we saw in game one and game two. Although game two, a little bit more of passive play from him. Ended up costing him. Especially moving out to that fourth. It's kind of the Tau of Zerg of knowing when to build units and when to shell up and play a little bit more defensively. Probe able to confirm that third base on Ball's end. He is producing an initial zealot to go ahead and clog that gap. Probe's making a way to go ahead and saturate that natural expansion. This is... Ooh. This will hurt... A little bit, and I'm wondering if Wizard sees it and might want to capitalize on Mutalus a little bit earlier here. Ball is not mining gas. Okay, now he's starting to mine gas. But that was a timely delay. Cybernetic score being morphed in. Wonder if that's gonna so nerves on both ends here. Layer morphed. I think the timing is still gonna be there to get a Corsair out, but I'm wondering if seeing that little bit later gas will be encouragement for Wizard to maybe go for more aggressive Mutalisks rather than going for just the fourth hatchery and the Scourge play in the mid-game. A couple additional Zerglings being constructed. Probe wandering up to go ahead and get a look at the drone saturation at the third. A couple additional Zerglings out in the front and an Overlord just watching to see. One thing that a lot of players will do is they'll sneak those Zealots out in the map, create havoc, Usually not out of a... Oh, my goodness. Citadel of Dune down as well, and it's been spotted. As the Spire is being constructed here, this is almost like, yeah, asking for it. 
So Citadel of a Dune halfway finished. I don't know what Ball's thinking. He had a little bit later gas than usual. Now the Stargate morphing behind it. It's almost as if he wants Wizard to open up with the early Mutalis play. The Zealots making their way across, maybe re recognizing that, that was in fact scouted, wants to try to force some sort of uh, construction out of this and delay Mutalis play or invite it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm very confused by this, I will say. All together, the Zealots marching up, the Zerglings right there to engage pretty good concavity from Wizard. However, this is enough Zealots to beat this number of Zerglings, so more being fielded. Bit of skirmishes, just holding the ramp, yeah, trying to force the Zergling construction. The Spire's finished. Stargate silent. And the Zealots marching their way back. We do see that fourth hatchery being planted at the natural expansion. And again, yeah, no Mutalisks in construction for Wizard. I feel like if there's a prime opportunity to do it, this was it. Corsair now being built. Three cannons preventatively on the front for Ball. Plus one weapons also being researched. Creep Colony additional hatchery to create a bit of a SimCity defense there across that third base. So Wizard rather than... No, okay, so now producing some Mutalisks, but now it just feels like it's... Uh, it looks like just out of maybe three Mutalisks here. It feels a little bit too little too late with that mixed composition. Also, the Corsair should be able to migrate up and see it coming. So seize the Spire. Actually, depending on the flight path of these Mutalisks, might catch it off guard. Second Corsair in construction. A cannon being built at the main. Ooh, this is going to be dicey because I don't know that it's going to be there in time. And if there's follow-up Mutalisks, this could be game-ending. Hatchery and Hydralisten being constructed. The Mutalisks dive right there. Yeah, so it's certainly going to get some probe kills if they concentrate on that cannon. Not con concentrating on the cannon, it looks like. Now engaging. Looks like they're just going to try to get the probe kills they can. Let that cannon construct and they make their way out. So Ball taking some economic losses. The gas being disrupted as well. The Mutalisks now making their way out. But honestly, I feel like <laughs> out of all of that, Ball has himself to blame. Very late on the Stargate. Dropped the Citadel under the Overlord in front of it. Just kind of telegraphed all of that. And now the worker count just about even, which usually puts Zerg in a very comfortable position. Supply count's also even. That's going to be the six hatchery dropping. There, it looks like we are seeing uh, Lurker Tech being morphed rather than the Hybrilisk upgrades. Mulesk sneaking the way in. A couple Scourge to draw those Corsair back. And first of all, able to scout all of this, but second of all, with, yeah, the smaller... Mutalisk count, it's devastating. The Zealots marching out, wanting to try to draw those Mutalisks away. Might be successful in doing so. So this is going to be, what, five Zealots? They do not have plus one weapons as of yet. They will have plus one weapons on the way. But just marching out on the map to force these Mutalisks out of the base. Nice play there from Ball. And the Gambit, in fact, worked. Archon now morphed to help deal with those Mutalisks between point A and point B. Potentially necessary, but Ball... Not in a very comfortable position at all at this stage. Third gas, nearly online for Wizard, getting that Overlord speed as well. Lurker Tech now finishing, and with the economic position as it is, there could be a nice little switch for Wizard where he can just plop down a good amount of Lurkers and go for a quick contain or go for a fourth base very comfortably, and I don't know that Ball will have the units in time uh, to really slow him down as long as Wizard makes sure that he doesn't make the mistake from game two and underproduce. Quick Dragoon range. We do have five gateways behind this. I'm looking to see if it's going to be six and Ball going for another hammer-like smash attack with his units as far as a follow-up play. As an, With that Archon, that can help uh, protect... The High Templar, as far as follow-up, as long as you keep them at close position. Now, opening things up, maybe wanting to make moves sooner rather than later. Later, Wizard has just gone for a sizable drone cycle, starting to move Lurkers forward, has grabbed his fourth in this corner, and I don't see a robotics facility up as of yet for Ball, so he's he doesn't have an answer outside of Size Storm for the Lurker tech. Also, he needs to be very wary because there's still Scourge. Overlord's speed is upgraded. 
So should there be observers, they're very vulnerable. So Psy Storm is going to be enormous here. And lurkers and positioning also going to be enormous. Not seeing a large amount of lurkers fielded as of yet. We've got three, but not a full complement of five. Mutalisks waiting along that edge. Ball pocketing that troop. Supply count's even, but that does put the army count lower for wizard. Bit risky going for that third of this stage. Lurkers going for kind of a soft defense here. Spacing themselves out. Zerglings not on attack move, so we're going to lose their lives, but they are going to spot that army. More lurkers making their way for the overlord on the forward position to potentially spot observers, but there's the robotics facility back at home base, which mean Ball, especially with these, yeah, lurkers, unless he just gets brilliant side storms, he's not going to have a lot that he can accomplish here. So sees that, moves the Corsair forward, sees the Mutalisks in sufficient numbers, and backs out. At the very least, he has a little bit of map control, but there's still some Zerglings in between that could potentially pounce on a quick third that Ball would try to field. Unit counts even, again, theoretically putting Wizard ahead. If Wizard just turns on the macro right now, he'll be in a fantastic position to close this match out because he's already got 51 drones and might want to cycle some out to that 4 o'clock location. A single Zealot making its way up to maybe engage us as the drones are making their way that direction. Ball maybe wanting to pounce someplace. I'm wondering if he's going to wait for that Observer. The observatory just finishing. The Zealot spots that upper left. Let's see if some... Is that going to be a Zergling defense? The drone's just going to back out momentarily. That does create a little bit of lack of mining there. Maybe a bit of an over-dedication as far as troop defense. Ball doesn't have the vision to really capitalize on it. This is a lot of Dragoons up on the high ground to play from here. But it looks like, yeah, he just wants to gather up, get an Observer, and crash down potentially on that natural expansion. But I think he's going to be, by that time, crashing into even numbers of troops. That Observer's got a long ways to travel as well and needs to be highly protected. The Mutalisks, for whatever reason, wandering out. I think they wanted to get some vision, maybe pick off some wandering High Templar, but losing a bit of their life and health for the effort. Hydralisks grouping up plus one weapons has been completed there. Plus two weapons has not yet been started. Queen's Nest being dropped. Mm. So Wizard might be trying to switch tech. And as a result, oh, he has managed to sneak out a Hydralisk attack force to maybe cut off some reinforcements. The Observer is going to see it. The High Templar scrambling. So Wizard not able to capitalize right there. Ball does have a moment where this might work out. He's got the plus one weapons, plus one armor. If he just protects this Observer, he could be in a really good spot here, but this is a lot of Overlords, a fair amount of Lurkers. Psy Storms could be huge as well. But if he's not able to close this out, he is boxed out of additional bases. The Observer meandering forward, very exposed right this second. One Zealot dies, and Ball backing out, moving his Dragoons towards the front so that the Observer can start doing its work. Hydralis now pushing in, eating a Psy Storm along that left hand doodad. Another big Psy Storm catching a lot of Hydralisks and the Lurker. Good follow up Psy Storm by Ball, clearing out a lot of those Hydralisks. But this is a close reinforcement point for Wizard. Not a lot of these Psy Storms are landing on that Lurker line. And if Wizard just keeps up with the macro, he should be okay. Now moving up, however, and Wizard just doesn't have the mass in position to engage the army that's crashing down at his natural expansion. A lot of Hydralis just sitting there, not engaging in this attack. The Observer critically not getting picked off. Huge side storms over the Lurker Lines and the Hydralis right there. The side storms have been brilliant for Ball here. And the attack troops along the rear getting, I think, believe, uh, reinforcing from that three o'clock location, getting wiped out. Corsair moving forward, gonna get some free Overlord kills and Wizard, even though he has the economy, Needs to find some macro. These on a rally point, just not engaging in this attack. Some Hydralis moving from that right-hand side, eating some side storm as well. And Ball has a window to move in and crash down, get some damage done at the natural expansion. The Observer gets picked off, though. There is a second Observer along the rear. Zealots engaging there. I'm going to fan this back. Hydralis trying to reinforce. The Zealots have cleared out a lot of... The Sim City at the natural. 
so there's less of a barricade. The hydralis then now exposed. And the drone's no longer mining. It looks like they stopped position, and Wizard not able to mount a sufficient defense, trying to scramble troops from that rear position, but not, but in the meantime, has lost everything at the natural, is potentially going to lose a lot more at his main because there's enough sufficient troops to continue this attack. Not that fantastically saturated to make up for it at these additional two bases. And this is a very similar situation to game two. Let's see if he's able to now turn on the gas. Right now, down 25 supply. He does have some attack troop coverage to deny a third base from Ball, but Ball has breached his main. Two Sutton colonies there. One Sutton colony getting wiped out. Handful of reinforcements being left to clog the rear. Now all of the tech exposed. Psy Storm at the main. Ball has another attack troop that's holding short. Zerglings finally making it through to the main. And unfortunately now Wizard is taking enough economic damage that even if he clears these attack troopings out, I think Ball can just continue with his production as long as he keeps the army groupings tight. Should be able to finish this out down to 28 workers versus the 34 more troops storming across the map observer support as well so potentially too little too late lurkers trying to cut off the reinforcements they're getting caught zerglings engaging on the zealots as well and now the attack trooping yeah going to be able to wipe out everything here the spire a little bit of health away from being wiped out the spawning pool potentially going to get wiped out as well once that spawning pool goes down and that spire goes down, that will be game. A lurker morphing but not able to burrow gets obliterated immediately. Now the spawning pool being focused, and that should be GG. Because now he can't even... Right now, Wizard can't even produce attack droopings. He can produce drones, and that is it. Maybe queens. 37 workers... A grouping of zerglings running across. He wasn't able to plop down additional buildings at any location to kind of do a build and retreat and ball going ahead and building a nexus wizard trying to move out to stop that but too little too late two base versus two base protoss now potentially three base in a moment although it will drop back down to two bases the main mining out corsair patrolling otherwise i am actually a little bit surprised that wizard hasn't gg'd half the supply can't produce attack troops has an evolution chamber as far as tech goes, and that is it. Finally redropping a spawning pool, but he's been completely reset. Ball can easily walk to any location, wipe out whatever is standing if he wants. The Zerglings aren't going to be able to stop it. More troops marching out in the form of Zealots. Now to that upper left, perhaps realizing that it's a tournament elimination situation, opting to stay in the match. Spawning pool about halfway finished. Wizard could produce a lot of Zerglings out of this, but and he does have plus one carapace, I believe. Looking to find the forge. Plus two weapons, not that far from finishing. A fourth base being built from Ball. Get ahead, get further ahead. Some Zerglings trying to engage from the rear. Ball can just slow play this and walk into these hatcheries. Wizard desperately trying to grab a base there at the 10 or 11 o'clock location. Ah, 10 o'clock. Kind of one hatchery down and desperation sunken colonies being built. Wizard just trying to spend what bank he's got. Third base is up, just needs to be saturated, and that should be sufficient. I think I might have missed a counterattack of uh, Mutalist, maybe picking off a couple drones here and there, but certainly not sufficient. The Observer able to spot some of these additional bases being constructed, but single zealots can move out to any of those locations, wipe them out. Zergling's trying to get surround, able to at least get a Dragoon right there. Zergling sweeping in, but they're going to meet Zealots as far as the follow-up, and more reinforcements of Zealots are making their way forward. So now it is a slow play death from Wizard, as the Dragoons are be able, they should be able to actually even siege this last hatchery from a defensible uh, position. Dragoons marching up, wiping out that 9 o'clock, forcing cancellation. They are going to be able to force a cancellation at the additional base there as well. Zergling scrambling everywhere, trying to get what they can done, but it is going to be way too little too late. 146 supply versus 60. Gotta say, it's Admiral at this stage, Wizard, but there's GG. Oof.
Ball wins. He will move on to the final match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.